Hello everybody, Jake here from FM Scout. We've already done Bargain Wonder Kids on this channel, we've done Bargain Players, we've done Secret Wonder Kids, we've done the Best Wonder Kids, we've done all kinds of videos. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some release clause bargains that doesn't necessarily just mean Wonder Kids, that can be any player that we believe their release clause is definitely worth the value of a player that you're buying. Now obviously I can't put every single player with a decent release clause in this list because the video would be too long and also I'm not some all seeing guy, I don't know every single player so feel free to comment a player that I've missed out down below for other people to see when they check out the comments. And if you could like the video that really helps with the videos and the algorithm helps push them out to more people. And finally we are aiming for 100,000 subscribers on this channel pretty soon so if you're watching and you have been watching for a while maybe and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet it would be great if you could do so, help us hit that 100,000 target by December, that would be brilliant. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and let's get into the first player guys. Now the first player we're going to be looking at is Roma's Lorenzo Pellegrini. This guy is a brilliant attacking midfielder and central midfielder who is valued at £19 million at the age of 24, playing for the Italian national team. He's got brilliant stats really, some good traits, good physical height by the way, that's quite an extra bonus for an attacking midfielder. Decent physical stats, really good mentals and really good technicals. He is a player of extreme quality. In my saves, he seems to go to Bayern Munich pretty quickly. Teams tend to activate that release clause that he does have. He will have about £75,000 a week in wages. You'll probably have to pay more if you sign him. So he will be a player for the bigger clubs, I would say top six Premier League teams, them kind of things, clubs that compare to that kind of level. He's definitely more of a creator than he is a goal scorer, but with his 12 long shots, it doesn't rule out him getting some extra goals in there. Best in the advanced playmaker roles, and apparently he's good in all roles in central midfield, which is very useful for a player like that. And you could buy him for only £27.5 million. That release clause will expire in 2022. And if you didn't know what a release clause is, basically if you put in that sum in a transfer, then Roma have no uh, way to reject it, basically. They have to accept it. You can see because if you turn the price up to 27.5 million, this green icon appears which means the fee matches or exceeds the release clause. So if you're ever buying a player and you see that, just keep going down until you hit it just so you're not paying over the odds for someone. And you can see, okay, it's gone at 27, which means the release clause is 27.5 million pounds. You can also see that there if you don't know how to find someone's release clause. Not every player will have one. It tends to be if you're buying someone from the Spanish leagues, keep an eye out for it because a lot of Spanish league players, well, ones that aren't at the top few clubs like the Barcelonas, Real Madrid's and Atletico Madrid's, pretty much everyone else, even young players that come through in their youth intake, seem to have really low release clauses. So keep an eye on that. I found some absolute bargains there. But the first player on this list is Lorenzo Pellegrini. I think he's brilliant. If any of you guys have tried him out, let me know. He's been a fan favourite for a few years on Football Manager. A really good player with great mentals too. So he just keeps developing, keeps excelling, and he's a really good player to have around in your team. Before we talk about the next player, I'd just like to say the link to my personal YouTube channel will be in the comments. If you want to check it out, feel free, it'd be greatly appreciated. We've got a Chelsea beta save going on around there, and people seem to be really enjoying it. I've had quite a lot of people come over from FM Scout. I've gone from, in the space of a month, from like 200 subscribers to 450 now, so if we can hopefully push for 500 next, that'll be brilliant. So thank you to anyone who goes and does that. But yes, the next player we're looking at is Axel Werner. This is more of a team that has a small budget, I would say. I'm not expecting your Manchester United to go out and try and buy this guy. If you're maybe a championship level team or a team that's just been promoted, who need a goalkeeper, even if he's not going to be a starter to be a backup, I think this guy is a really, really good player for the price you can get him for. He's playing at Atletico San Luis in the Mexican League, but he is on loan from Atletico Madrid, so I don't know whether you'll need the Mexican League loaded. I would assume if you had the Spanish League loaded, as he is an actual Atletico Madrid player, he should come up for you that way, but don't quote me on that. I think that's right though. So this guy is a six foot four goalkeeper, Argentinian, had caps for the under 20 teams, but nothing really that noteworthy. I just think he's a very good player for the price you can get him for, which by the way is around 1.6 million. There's a chance if you bid on this guy, as Atletico Madrid do have a lot of um, good goalkeeping talent, maybe they'll let him go for cheaper than his release clause. But I think his release clause, if you had to pay that, still does represent a bargain because Decent mental stats that can be improved upon. He is 24. Goalkeepers tend to hit their prime at around 28 to 30, I would say, on Football Manager. At least I remember on the early Football Manager games, there used to be little tips that came on and said that. I don't really see them as much anymore. But yeah, I think uh, that is when they usually reach their prime. But it's more of his goalkeeping stats that stand out. He's got really good goalkeeping stats for the price you'd pay for him, really. You think nowadays most championship teams and even a few selects like League One teams and stuff 
can afford £1.6 million. And I think he'd be a goalkeeper for years to come. And he could definitely develop. Even if you're buying him as a backup, I think he'll do a good job. Nice physicals for a goalie, good height, and some good goalkeeping stats too. For £1.6 million, you can't expect the next Jan or Black, but he definitely is a good goalkeeper, I would say. Um, I wasn't going to put this guy on this list, but as we are looking at Argentinian players, we may as well look at their goalkeeper. Where is he? Is he on here? Okay, apparently he hasn't been called up, but let me just quickly search him for you guys. You've probably all heard of him. Uh, Geronimo, that's definitely pronounced wrong, Ruli from Villarreal. Argentinian, 28 years old. Now, I think you could probably get him for cheaper than his release clause. I didn't plan on showing him here, but I thought I may as well, seeing as we're looking at Argentinian goalkeepers. I spotted he had a £31 million release clause. So if you're looking for a really experienced goalkeeper for a top-level side, let's say, I don't know, your Spurs and Lloris moves on, this guy could be a good player for you. I don't know, I just thought I'd mention him just in case none of you guys know about him. I would say his release clause is still fairly high for the player looking at. But anyway, yeah, we're going to move on to the next player on the list. The next player we're looking at is FC Porto's Romero Barro. He is in the Portuguese divisions, really good on the last football manager. He, You will have to pay a decent amount of money for this guy, even though his value is 1.6 million. Uh, Porto aren't usually obliged to sell, really. They don't want to sell him unless you put in a decent bid. But his release clause means that you can, even if they were being really stingy with you, you can activate it. It is one of the higher release clauses on this list. And I don't think it represents as much good value for money as the other ones do. But I thought he was definitely worth talking to you guys about just in case anyone is after an all-round central midfielder. So it's £36.5 million pounds for his release clause. I would, well, I mean, people might class it as a bargain because of the player that he could go into. I don't think anyone would look at this guy right now and say, yeah, £36 million pounds for those stats. But I think at his maximum development, he'd definitely exceed that value by far. So if you're looking for someone, maybe you're a lower level Premier League team and you had some money to spare and you wanted a central midfielder for the future, this guy would definitely do the job. You can see he's a box-to-box -box Mizala, deep line playmaker. He can do a lot of the roles in that central midfield position, all basically at the same level. And that is because his stats are very much all-rounded, good defensive stats, decent attacking stats, decent mentals, decent physicals. He's not shining in any particular way, but it's more of a fact that he's an all-round player for that price. I think he would be worth the money if you really needed a central midfielder, I think there are better options out there. But in terms of players whose release clause would be classed as a bargain, I would say this guy probably just falls in that bracket purely for his potential that he can hit. He'll probably require a higher wage than what Porto are offering here. I would guess, let's check his availability. What do they say about him? Um, Porto, there you go. You can see he would want around £50,000 a week and Porto may not be willing to sell. That's where obviously the release clauses help out. If Porto really didn't want to sell this guy, you could still hit his release clause, and that is probably what they go for if you try to negotiate with him. I haven't tried. We'll have a look now. There you go. I've just offered 1.6 million, and instantly they say 36.5. Maybe you can knock it down, but it does show that they are unwilling to sell, and if they could, they would ask for more than 36.5 million. So you're definitely onto a winner there if you do sign this guy. I wouldn't spend your whole transfer budget on him, but if you have some money spare and you want to bring him into your club, feel free. I think he could be a good player in the future. And I think he will be a good player in the future, actually. No coulds about it. So Romario Barrow was my pick there. And now let's move on to the next pick on the list. And I promised a lot of bargain players in Spain. Danny Gomez from Levante is one of the best ones on this list for the value that you pay for him. You look at him here and you would say that's really good striking stats, actually. All around stats would definitely be a good enough player for most top tier championship teams and even some Premier League teams. I think he could do the job at a lot of levels. He doesn't necessarily have to be your starting striker. He could be a backup, but I think he's definitely got the potential at the age of 21 to go on and do a lot more in his career. He can definitely develop into a top, top player. Already playing for the under 21 teams quite regularly. He's probably stopped now actually at the age of 21, but four caps for them, scored three goals. You look at him at 1.3 million, probably expecting a release clause of around 20 million, 15 million. But this guy is very cheap at only 3.8 million pounds. And I think that is brilliant, brilliant money for the kind of player that you get. Yes, you are going to have to pay a decent amount of wage to him, but nothing too crazy. I would expect around 20,000 pounds, 15,000 pounds for a player of this quality. I think is very good. Like I say, most championship teams would have 3 million pounds laying about. And if you really wanted a new striker, this guy would definitely do the job for you. So if you're looking for a new striker and don't have too much money to spend, Danny Gomez is a player you can buy who will come in, be good for you based on his stats and also has the potential to be a lot better. You can imagine in three years, if a couple of these stats go up, you're going to have some 
greens on the board and that's just going to make him into a really complete player in that striking position you can see he can do pretty much all of them so Danny Gomez is my next recommendation probably one of the best bargains on the list so keep your eyes out for him and now let's move on to the next player before we talk about this player here I'd just like to say a big thank you to all you guys on FM Scout who have shown your support in the comments recently I've been doing this for around a month now I think getting close to a month Really enjoyed doing it. I hadn't done anything like this before, really. I had my own Football Manager channel, of course, but nothing to this level, talking to this many people. So thank you for all your support and for supporting all the other guys on the channel at the minute too. It's been a busy period when FM21 beta has dropped, but I think we're all doing a very good job. So thank you for all your support on all of our videos so far. But yeah, this player, Andrea Lunin, is a Ukrainian goalkeeper. I assume he's starting for Ukraine if he's already got five caps at his age. Let's have a look in the senior squad. He is one of the three goalkeepers, I would assume. With five caps, he is probably playing quite a bit for Ukraine. He is playing at Real Madrid and is a very good player, I would say. If you think about Axel Werner earlier, he was, what, 24 was he? Lunin is younger than him and is a lot better goalkeeper already. But he will come at a bit higher of a price. He is a Real Madrid player, of course, so the release clause is a bit higher. But for only £16 million, a little bit less than £16 million, actually, you're looking here at a all-rounded goalkeeper who has the potential to improve in terms of goalkeepers with high potential, he is one of them on this football manager and he has good determination too, so good chance for him to go up and develop into a really good goalkeeper. But like I say, I would say lower level Premier League team, he'd be your goalkeeper for years to come. Even if you're playing at Emmanuel or Chelsea and you need a backup goalkeeper, this guy would probably do the job for the amount you're paying for him. You could always loan him out for a season or two and then bring him back, but I think he could walk into a lot of teams and be a high level goalkeeper option for you. He might require a bit of wage, but you can see Real Madrid do value him quite highly with a contract for another four years, a good wage, and yeah, I don't think they would want to sell him, but that release clause is in there. As I do say, he is one of the highest potential goalkeepers on the game this year, so I think for him to have a release clause is a very nice option there to get him. I don't know whether this is always the case, but if you go to Real Madrid and look at their senior squad, they have Courtois and their only other goalkeeper in their senior squad is Lunin. Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe someone's injured or something, but it does show that Real Madrid backup goalkeeper, they're, they're putting a lot of faith in the guy. So I think for the money that you can get him for is an absolute steal. So Andre Lunin is my next pick. Now let's move on to the next player on this list. Now this guy might be my favourite option on the list. It's Jesus Corona from Porto. There's three Porto players on this list. This is the second one. He's a Mexican player, 27 years of age, capped many times for Mexico, a very experienced player, good mental stats, really good physicals and really good technicals. A three and a half star player. This, by the way, is in comparison to Chelsea's team. So that's comparing him to the likes of Pulisic, Werner, hudson Adoy, and they're still rating him very highly. I think higher than most of them, to be fair, based on what I played with Chelsea. And you can see why some really good technical stats valued at 25 million pounds he is one of the players that comes closest in terms of his release clause to his value as his release clause is let's have a look 27 i think yeah 27.5 mil he has some really good traits too either footed can play on both wings can apparently even play wing back if you need him to at a good level as well three star right back apparently this guy is a player to get for sure guys I mentioned how Faguli could be a winger or backup winger for like a Leeds West Ham kind of team. I think Jesus Corona could walk into most teams in the Premier League, even like the top six teams, he would be a good backup, if not challenging, for that winger spot with most teams. So I think this guy, really good buy. I would recommend him highly. He's probably the one that I recommend highest on this list. So Jesus Corona, try and get him if you can. He'll serve you well for three or four years on that wing for a good price. And you're getting a top player, really, for the price you're paying for him. I don't know what Porto are doing with all these release clauses, but, you know, as football manager players are very happy to steal some talent off of them. So now let's move on to the next player. And we're looking at Nuhan Perez, who is on loan at Granada from Atletico Madrid, but he still has a release clause. He's classed as a two-and-a-half-star centre-back in comparison to Chelsea centre-backs. But the reason I'm interested in this guy is he's a 20-year-old Argentinian with absolutely amazing stats, and I'll let you know now that he has one of the highest potentials in the centre-back spot on this year's Football Manager. So he's one of the best young centre-backs on the game, not the tallest, but he has good physical stats, really good mental stats for his age, like really good, and good technicals too. With that 17 determination and all the other good mental stats around him, he has the ability to, even if his stats aren't great now, he will develop if you give him the right training and all that stuff into a top, top level player. Will easily go past his 4.1 value mark and that is why you'd be paying around £37.5 million for him. It seems like a lot 
but like I say, he has definitely got the potential to go very far and developed him right. By the age of 23, he will have outpaid that value massively. He will be valued at more than 30 odd million pounds, I promise you that. Nuhan Perez is a top, top player. Use him well and he you will get great rewards from this guy. Keep an eye on it though, because I imagine Atletico Madrid, once this loan is up at Granada, will be looking to offer him a new contract without a release clause. So just double check and keep an eye on him. But I think go for him if you can. If you're looking for a new centre-back, this could be the guy for you. It's going to cost you a fairly big amount of money and a fairly big chunk of money for his wages too. But he's a player who can definitely perform to that standard if you develop him right. A great player, Nuhan Perez. And now let's move on to the last two players on this list. And we're looking at the 20-year-old Portuguese international, Fabio Vieira. No youth caps, no international caps. A good all-round player. Nothing too special about him just yet. But I think at the age of 20, to have some good traits and to already have stats at like 15, the important stats for an attacking midfielder, shows that he does have the potential to go far if he develops right. You can imagine by the age of 23, 24, he's going to have a lot of green stats around there. A two and a half star advanced playmaker. This is his preferred role in the attacking midfield position. Now, compared to someone like Jesus Corona, Corona is definitely the finished article and they both cost a similar amount of money at 27.5 million pound release clause. You might be able to get him cheaper, but I think Porto will probably want that release clause matching if we have a look. Um, if a high fee will be required, as he believes they might, may not be willing to sell. There you go. So uh, Fabio Vareira, the reason I think he is good is because, like I say, Corona is the finished product. This is a guy that can probably exceed uh, Corona's talent if you give him the right development. And that's kind of what you're paying for, as good as he is right now. You're definitely paying for his future and to see how good he becomes. So I know his price point might seem quite pricey compared to his value, but I think he will match that value given a few years of development and will probably go past it, surpass it quite easily, I would guess. So if you have the money, I guess you can absolutely raid Porto here for some of these players. A very good talent is this guy, Fabio Vieira. So if you want to get your hands on him, feel free. I know he's one that for his price point, not many people will probably go for. But just looking at his talent here, he has definitely got the potential to go far. So if you're interested in buying him, let me know in the comments. And now let's move on to the last player in this list. And this is someone who I think represents a very good bargain. It's Marcos Senesi. I think we've left one of the best bargains for last. I think that is his release clause there, 9.25 mil. Let's just double check. Yeah, there he is. So that's what you'd have to pay for him if you wanted him. Quite close to his value as well, which is good. He's a 23-year-old centre-back from Feyenoord in the Eredivisie, which is the Dutch league if you're looking for him. He's six foot tall, so not the tallest, just a good all-round centre-back. And you can see the kind of level that he would go for because he has been wanted by Aston Villa and West Ham. And I would say that's what you're looking at. He'd be a starting centre-back for probably the bottom half of the Premier League table. And I think he'd do a really good job for you as well. Could marshal that defence for years to come, really. Some good defensive stats, but also not bad at the playing out stuff too. I think his mental stats are very good for a centre-back. Can obviously develop as he gets older, but he's just an all-round centre-back who isn't going to cost you the world compared to some other people. I know FM21 isn't FM20, but this guy, when I was doing my Vitesse save on FM20, was Feyenoord's captain leader at the back for years, and then eventually moved on to the big Spanish teams and went to Real Madrid. So I'm not saying he's going to be Real Madrid quality by the end of your guys' saves on FM21, but he definitely has the ability to go far, and if you just use him at the back for, let's say, two or three years, even two years, you're definitely getting a 9 million value out of this guy. A left footer as well, which is quite useful for a ball playing defender because quite often you find that all the centre backs are right footed, so always nice to find a left footed one. I think this guy is a really good player and he is the last player on this list, so hopefully you've enjoyed this release clause bargains video. If you have, drop us a like, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Thank you again for all your support recently, it really means a lot, so I hope you've seen the next video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. I have been Jake for FM Scout, so thank you and goodbye.